Hello everyone! We're back again today talking about another leatherworking tool, this time the awl. Awls have been used by humans since the Stone Ages. The original awls were made from bone and antler, and were used to pierce hides that would stitch together to wear as clothing. Now, bone awls continued to be used even into the Middle Ages, but almost as soon as we had access to metalworking, we started making our awls out of iron. Awls are used to put holes in leather and in fabric. They also function by pushing aside the material rather than removing it, as with a punch. The advantage of this is that when you remove materials, this damages the integrity of the, of the fabric or the fibers, and they can begin to fray. Whereas when you push the material apart, those fibers stay intact, leaving them strong. Now you'll notice I have several different types of awls here. The first of which is the diamond awl. This is pretty much your basic awl for leatherworking in particular, and it's named because of the diamond shaped profile, which you might be able to see here. And the advantage of this kind of awl is that when you pierce the material, it creates a diamond shaped hole. And once you've stitched, this diamond shaped hole has a tendency to close up keeping things nice, tight, and secure. The second awl, as you can see in the middle, is the round awl. It's used for a very similar purpose, as you can see. It has a round profile. Now, while you can use it in pretty much the exact same way as the diamond-shaped awl, I prefer to use it to open up holes that I've made with the first one while I'm stitching. As I said, diamond-shaped awls have a tendency to close up the holes that are made, so I will use a round awl to open them up again so that I can more easily pass the thread through. And since the hole was already diamond shaped, once I'm done, it'll have a tendency to close back up again. But there's nothing stopping you from using this as well. Now the last of the awls is very similar to the first. As you can see, it also has that characteristic diamond shaped profile, but you'll notice that the blade is curved. Now the reason for this is because sometimes you'll want to stitch leather edge to edge. To demonstrate, you can see that I have two pieces of leather that match up, and I have my awl. Now I can push in near the edge, angled slightly downward, and if you watch right here at the edge, you can see all comes out from the middle. So if I have these edges matched up, I can push from the side of one piece of leather into the other. And you can see where it pushes up slightly. That'll give me some indication of where the awl tip is about to come out. If you go too far, you can simply adjust the position of the awl, pull back, or continue to push forward. Pulling this out and taking a thread, in this case with a boar bristle, you can see it passes through edge to edge. And if you look at it from the other side, you'll see the true advantage, which is you can't see the stitch work. But if you pull them apart, you can see they're stitched through edge to edge. As with any tool, safety is key. You want to keep track of where your all point is because if you're pushing through leather and you're not paying attention, it's very easy to prick your finger. And I can tell you, that isn't fun. While injuries are inevitable with any kind of work like this, you want to minimize them as much as possible. And proper planning, attention, and care for safety can prevent them as much as possible. Now, to take care of your awl, you're gonna to wanna to keep it sharp. As we talked about with the head knife, you can do that using a strop, taking the point of your awl and running it along. As a general use maintenance, this will keep your awl in good working order for quite some time. 
keeping the point nice and sharp. At some point, you might need to take it to sandpaper or a grinder, because a dull awl blade won't puncture much of anything. Keeping it nice and sharp will make sure that you work cleanly, easily, and swiftly. And that, my friends, is the awl. Thank you again for watching, and if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell so you can get notifications for future videos on more tools, techniques, and tutorials. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The extra support means I can take off time from my regular work to make videos like this. And I've got to say, I'm really enjoying it. So until next time, stay safe, and happy crafting.